Uh, our friend Christian Keys has been trending on social media after opening up about his experience with sexual harassment from an executive in Hollywood. Check this out. This person was sexually, sexually harassing me for years. He was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was, when he requested them to be there. This was trending all over the place all weekend. It still is. Uh, we rarely hear men come forward and um, I got to commend him for his bravery. It's got to be scary. Uh, what are your thoughts on this news story? Whoever wants to go first on this. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Oh, sure. You know, <clears throat> Christian Keys basically broke the internet this weekend, and we know that our lovely Claudia Jordan stood in solidarity with him. And I think you guys are right. I think that we need to have the same sensitivities when it comes to men claiming sexual harassment as when women do, because none of the less it's the same. All, it's courageous, but at the same time, it was explosive at the same time, right? And I'm going to tell you this, and I'm just being honest. I'm always weary of individuals who take these type of actions, but don't mention names. Now stick with me here, because I'm going to tell you why. Because by not revealing the name, you are basically freeing that person of any accountability, and you're giving them, while you're freeing them of accountability, you're also giving them a license to continue that bad behavior that according to him has been going on for decades. I don't like that because you're putting other people, especially young people coming into the business at risk when you know firsthand how horrible it made you feel. So I just think he needs to take that into consideration as he navigates his way into revealing or not revealing who this person is. All right, Q, what do you think? Um. To be honest and just to be fair, we can't have this conversation as robustly as it deserves to be had without disclosing the identity of the accuser. Um, you know, I, I've heard who it was and I, I don't want to step into that firestorm. Um, so I'm going to defer my commentary until we get more details about this situation. I was actually really surprised that when I saw the video, my friend Portia sent me the video. She's like, girl, look, because we've had conversations about this before. Um, I've been friends with Christian for quite a while, and uh, I met him around. So we worked on a Joe video, Why Just Be Friends, and he played the masseuse in the video of, for me, and we became friends, and we hung out, and we had a long talk one night um, before we went to a club. He, he shared some things about the industry in general, and he seemed like a man that was traumatized. Like that look he had in his eye that in, on that live was like, it was like that. And I was like, something happened to this man that was bad. And it's not my place to, um, it's not my place to tell. I only wanted to show um, that someone else is validating that he has been keeping the same energy. That's the only reason I even said anything. Um, I know people want to be quick to call me messy or inserting myself. It had nothing to do with that. I don't need clout. I got clout five days a week right here in Fox Soul. I don't need that. Um, but I just know how it feels to step out there, right? And then be like, where are my friends at? You know, I know I, I, I you know, so I, I did what I could. Um, this is nothing new in the business. As many Me Too stories as we hear about women in the business, I have told my friends, when it comes to the men in this business, they are victimized. I won't say worse, but kind of. A lot of men are almost forced to go against their, their sexuality for an opportunity or pers heavily persuaded. And that's so sad. I know a few guys that have, have gone there and then they're traumatized. They're never the same. Um, Christian's talking about more than one person in that video. If you listen to it, I listened to the whole hour. He talks about a woman that groped him, a man about investing into his company, and then the Hollywood mogul. Oh, oh, oh I'm confused then. So, which, so which one are we waiting for him to reveal? Any of them. 
But oh, that you, sounds like a lot. It, it is a lot, but let me tell you, there's so many people in this business that abuse their power. Mm -hmm. They know how bad you want it. If you left your hometown of Flint, Providence, Horse Pasture, mm -hmm. Miami Gardens, and you go to a whole nother part of the country and you left your household and said, I'm going to make it. And you go out there and then you see what it's really about. And you're like, oh, my God, I get it. And I get his fear and I get him holding on to this. He told me back then, when I get to a position where I can freely talk about this, I'm going to. And he did. You know, and I, I think he will. He said he's going to he's going to come out and he has a lot of uh, information. And he said he is. I'm sure his phone's getting blown up by lawyers. This is not him telling me. This is me assuming my opinion. Um, I sent him a message and just saying, yo, I commend you for being this brave because the, the, what the first thing a man want to do when another man tries you, they want to call you gay. You a punk. How you let a man do you like that? Why didn't you just knock him out? Look what Terry Crews went through. A little bit different because we don't like some of the moves that like Terry Cruz did, but people didn't take him seriously. We complained about the same thing from a white executive. So let me ask you this, and I and I I, I hear you. I swear to God, I do, because I'm from horse pasture. Um, <laughs> so by not telling us, is he protecting abusers' identity? I think it's probably at the advice of his lawyer to until, protect the abuser's identity. Well, until you're ready to file your claim or or, you know, drop a police report, okay. what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Until okay. you ready to until you are really ready to, listen, I hear here goes all my evidence and everything so I don't get sued for you know. Are you ready to go to commercial, girl? I know. All right, we're going to go to commercial on this. I know the chat has been waiting for the story the, the entire day. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have more on the story as uh, it comes out, but y'all it's major.